Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Autoflower clones. One will be coming down and we'll also be putting some sprouts in the ground getting ready for the next run. Okay guys, first off I guess let's take a look at the Autoflower clones and see how they're making out. And there they are. We have two left, well three left. So this one here in the front, uh, she's about eight weeks into flower, give or take, and she's ready to go. Now, in the last week, they've definitely hardened up quite a bit, but they still, they didn't get uh, the diameter that I was kind of hoping for, but it's really nice and frosty, and uh, she's ready to come down. What do you say, Jazz? She ready? Huh? What do you say, Jazz? Do you think she's ready? My little, my little Jazz, she always wants to get in the picture, but she knows she's not allowed in the tent. Let's get back to her. Now, I did buy myself a, a new little toy. It's a microscope camera, and I got this, if I can open it with one hand here. It's got a screen on it, and you can record, and you can get really close up and, and check the trichomes with it and stuff. It works really well. Uh, my, I should have got the one with the tripod, the, the tabletop tripod, because my hands are just a little bit shaky for it, but uh, I do have a tripod coming that will work. Uh, let's turn it on here, see. So we'll turn it on here, and uh, I'm not going to be able to show you much this way. I'm trying to hold a camera up to it. Anyway, I did take some... I did take some earlier. I cut a piece off and put it on the table so I could get a little bit, a little bit clearer image. I'll insert that a little bit of that here so you can see what I go for when, when I'm harvesting my cannabis. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing focused in here. Well, that's a leaf there, I'm sure. And we can see quite a few ambers on that one. Or, uh, we call them ambers, but they can be yellow, orange, brown. So we can see a ton of them on there, on the leaf. But you don't go by the leaf. The leaves tend to mature a little bit quicker. So if we try to find a bud here, there's a bud right there. Okay, so if we look at that, we can see they're all pretty much cloudy. A little bit of amber there. I don't like too much amber. I apologize for the uh, shaky hands. I should have got the tripod with this thing. But um, now you can see that one right in the very center. That one still looks pretty clear compared to the other ones. But they're still going to mature a few days after they're uh, cut. So you got to take that into consideration as well. So we're going to end up, by the time she's done drying and, and into the curing process, uh, there's going to be more amber and there's going to be more cloudy. The, the clear ones over the next few days will turn cloudy and some of the cloudy will turn amber. So I think right now is the perfect time that I want to take it down. Okay, so this one will be coming down today. Now we also have this one in the back. This, is, this clone was taken at the same time as the rest, including this one. And uh, but she still has another about four weeks to go because she was left in the cloner for an extra month and it kind of stunted her and it kept her into veg about a month longer. Then when she was put into the pot, uh, she took right off and this is what we have. She's doing really good too. Now we also have this down here, this second generation clone. Now she's pretty stunted. Uh, you can see she's growing more pistols out. I think she's stunt it right there so uh, we'll give her a little bit i got the room uh once i don't have any room anymore then i'm i'll probably just toss it out but it was fun to see what uh an auto flower clone of a clone would do okay so here she is just took off the uh, pipe cleaners used for lst this is grown in a Malgoc brand uh, fabric pot that has the holes already in them uh, really nice pots and i have a link in the description if anybody's interested in those all right, let's check this out. Let's see if we can use these cutters. It's a little bit bigger, but I think we can get her. All right, there we go. 
and there she is now even though the colas didn't get quite as uh, as big around as I'd like uh, it's still a really good sized plant definitely bigger and heavier than the ones that were in the uh, sea of green for sure so not bad for an autoflower clone definitely four or five ounces on this and really super sticky smells amazing hopefully you can see that from there all the crystal on it beautiful all right guys i'm gonna go hang this in the drying tent and then we'll come back and we have some seeds to plant okay so here is our little container that we put our seeds in let's open her up check her out okay looks good from here I don't know if you can see that. You can see a bunch of tails. Looks to me like I think all of them actually germinated. So that's good. Okay, so we got a marker here. We gotta make sure we mark the right ones. Okay, so we're gonna start off on this side, which is the star killer. Now I was only planning on I put SK for star killer. So one two three and let's go ahead and mark these ones too so we got some super lemon haze we got three of those now those are a sativa and then we have three sunset sherbet ss Now these are an indica hybrid, the same as the uh, Star Killer. They're also an indica hybrid. So we'll make sure we get them into the right containers. All right, let's start off with the uh, Star Killers here. Now I'm not sure where these seeds came from. Um, well, I got them from. Uh, let's just pull this out. Make it easier. Now I got these from. Uh, one of my viewers sent them to me, and I apologize. I don't remember who, but uh, thank you to whoever it was. Okay. It's fighting me all the way. doesn't want to open up. Okay, so we have three there. Okay, we want to get them in here as quick as possible. Now this is uh, Promix HP. Now I soaked down the soil beforehand. And we're just going to drop the seeds, pick them up very gently, drop it in, and uh, cover up. There we go. Next one. Now, I was only going to grow two of each, but I put three seeds in, not knowing uh, I've made that mistake before. And normally, it wouldn't matter too much to me but where i have the channel and stuff it's kind of hard to make plans to do certain things and then if something doesn't germinate then you're kind of screwed and you're out of time so i thought i'd drop three of each and all three germinated on that one anyway so we have three of those now let's make sure we set them let me put that on the outside so I can see all right so that's three star killers okay so now we're gonna go with the sunset sherbet see if all three of these ones germinated well two are pretty much out of their seed pods and that one uh, that one poking its head out there poking its tail out I guess but it uh, doesn't look too good, but we'll plant it. We'll see. Okay. So the seed is, you can tell, is pretty much it's grown out of its seed. So I'm going to just gently move that off to the side. Very gentle. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to gently pick it up without squeezing it. Now, where they don't have a seed on them, 
I don't want to plant those two under the soil, so I'm just going to very gently kind of work it in there, make sure there's soil around the root, and then just build up a little bit around it. Okay, make sure we don't have some bark there. Okay, so just like that, we're going to leave that top exposed. Because it's not going to be easy for that plant with no seed pod on it um, to grow through dirt. So we're going to leave it like that. That should be fine. And we'll do the same thing with the, the next one that's already out of its seed. Okay, so we're just going to... Very gently... very important to fill in that space i know roots need oxygen but they also can't grow through air air pockets so some of that perlite away from there okay so that one's that one fit in there pretty good just make sure there's no air pockets and there we go we still see the top there now this last one, it's barely got a tail on it, so I'm not sure if it'll take or not. We'll just pop it in there. I always put the tail down. Good enough. Okay, so we'll set them on there. And we'll check out the Super Lemon Haze. Okay. There we go. We got we got two two tails there. And we got a little one here. I find sometimes when they just when they're just little tails like that, sometimes they'll make it, sometimes they don't. So anyway, we've got two healthy ones there anyway. So we'll get them into the ground quick here. Okay. So so we got uh we got quite a few of the uh Alien versus Triangle cross with Three Bears OG, the autoflowers that were in the Sea of Green. We have quite a few of them that are dried and, and trimmed up now. But we're still waiting on the last five that we harvested. So they'll be done this week. So next week, we should have the weight, the finished dry weight. So uh, if you want to get in on that contest where we're guessing the dry weight, um, don't comment it on this video because it will not count. Go back to the last week's video. Go back to last week's video and then you can enter your, uh, your guess in grams. And the one closest without going over will win one of my uh, Bill Ward hats, like the one I have on right now, which you will see in a minute. Okay, there we go. Next run is started, and uh, we're off to the races. Now, I won't need to water these for a few days because I really soaked the soil down good. So we got all the seeds in the solo cups getting ready to go for this next run. Uh, I think I'm going to leave them right here on this table under under my Mars Hydro TS-1000, which is the first Mars Hydro light I have owned, and I still use it quite a bit for different projects. So it's great for a 2 by 2 area or as a work light. Okay, guys, so uh, we got everything done today we wanted to. Uh, want to get this new run on the go. 
and uh, pretty excited to do some photo periods, uh, train them up different ways and what have you. And I want to give a huge shout out to uh, my friend Jim from Texas. Uh, he's a subscriber to the channel and he was watching here a couple months back where uh, I was having some issues with power outages and stuff like that. And uh, he was good enough to, um, to donate to the channel a, a really nice generator. That'll keep me going uh, all winter long without having to worry about anything. So I really appreciate that, Jim. Uh, hats off to you. And thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in and watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, be sure to tune in next week to find out who is the winner of uh, one of my hats. The Guess the Dry Weight contest uh, on last week's video in the comment section. Closest one to guess the weight of all 16 autoflowers in the autoflower sea of green. I uh, will win one of my hats, so make sure you check that out. Okay, guys, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.